example, May is ALS Awareness Month, and each year doctors diagnose 6,000 American patients with a debilitating disease that has a life expectancy of two to five years. Well, Action News anchor Corin Hargard found a Valley patient who is recovering the first, or receiving rather, the first ever treatment designed to slow down the illness. One, two, three. I'm all right. Mark Harrison is taking a few small but significant steps forward in his battle against ALS. The neurological disease has trapped his perfectly functioning mind inside a body gradually strapped of strength over the last few years until it left him helpless in the gym. I can do a push up that startled me. The official diagnosis came last March and it devastated him and his wife Arlene. You know, it's frustrating, it's upsetting, but it hurts me more seeing other people hurt from my condition. That's, that bothers me more than the illness. Once you're given that diagnosis, it's truly a death sentence. You know, there's no cure. Mark got to the point where he couldn't walk a single step. He spiraled through depression and anger before finding reason for hope. His sister Debbie helped him get into the ALS brainstorm clinical trial at UC Irvine, where doctors engineer a therapy from the patient's own stem cells. These stem cells then secrete growth factors to promote motor cell regeneration, reduce inflammation, and the idea is that their motor cells can live longer. One month after his first stem cell injection, Mark's on his feet again. He can start to roll over if he's lying down, and Arlene says his speech is better. The clinical trial lasts a year, and it's free, but making the trip to Irvine is taxing, especially with Mark's special needs. You think traveling with a toddler is hard? <laughs> this is 20 times harder. But already well worth the effort. Mark's hoping to take a lot more steps soon, and maybe even do a push-up. I'm really... Looking forward to the next couple months to see what we can accomplish. Corin Hoggart, ABC 30, Action News. The ALS Association funds research and helps patients and their families. You can check out their information on, or make a donation through a link on our website at abc30.com. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.